In this video, I'm going to code up this interactive piano using Ader and Veet in about 10 minutes with my seven-year-old daughter as creative director. Okay, what should we make today? A piano. All right, let's make a piano. I'm gonna use Veet for this. And to get started, we could just copy this little snippet here. Go over here and just change the name. to piano app and I'll use the react template so then we go into this directory run npm install and then npm run dev and then we can open up this link here and we have our starter app Okay, now I'm going to use Ader to edit this code. Now let's take a quick look at the files to know what files to give Ader to work on. Okay, here's our piano app. And I think the one we need to change is this one, app.jsx. So let me add this one. And we may also want to change around the styles. So let me add this one too. And now we can develop just by asking eight or questions like this. So first I'll say clear out the boilerplate, including the icons, text, and counter. So now it's generating the AI response, which tells us how it's going to change. And it's removing a bunch of stuff. This is our new app. It's super simple. And this is our new CSS. Super simple. Okay, great. My app. Now, I want to use SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, for the graphics here. So make an SVG graphic that fills the page just as a starter area. Okay, great. This is amazing. This looks amazing. Now make uh, piano keys, including correctly positioned black and white keys for a two octave piano. Okay, now it's hard coding these rectangles. I think we can change that out later though. But it's good. See, each rectangle corresponds to a note. Okay, amazing. Here we go. We got a piano shape. Now eventually we want to be able to play this, right? So make it so we can click on the keys. And you know what I want to have happen is uh, when I click on a key, I want it to change color briefly, then fade back to white. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, nice. Now it's doing CSS for that. Fantastic. See this? It says when the black key is pressed, make the fill this. And when it's not pressed, transition the fill back. I think this is exactly what we want here. And then it's still got a lot of duplication there, but it does add the on click. Okay. That works. Look at that. Very nice. Now, refactor to reduce duplicated logic. If we take a look at the code as it is right now, there's all this duplication for each rectangle, which is ridiculous. Like, no person would write this. And so let's see if, if the AI can refactor this to reduce the duplicated logic. Duplicated logic means there's a lot of repetition, like the same thing over and over again. Okay, great, it did it. Look at this. Now the black keys and the white keys are defined here as data. We have a component for piano key. Oh, this is brilliant. And then just for all the white keys, it puts the piano key. And for all the black keys, it puts the piano key. Let's see if it still works. 
yeah, it still works. Okay, great. Now, what we want to do is have it actually make sounds when you click on these. So I'm going to go to architect mode here and say, how can we make it so that the keys make sounds when we click on them? So it's going to use the Web Audio API, which is an awesome API for sounds. And we can create oscillators, sine wave oscillators for each one. And for that, we need the note frequencies, which are right here. And then it's introducing this function called play note, which is calling create oscillator, create gain node, connect them together, and then exponential ramp to value add time. Wow. Let's see if it works. Yes, edit the files. All right, let's give it a try. Aha, it works. Amazing. Can you put numbers on the top? Yeah, let's put numbers on the top. Here it goes. It's adding some text to our piano key component. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's not numbers exactly, but it's the right note. So that's C1. I mean, it's, it's the note C in the first octave and C2. Uh, make the text not selectable. Yeah, user select none. There you go. Actually, the, now it's interfering with the pointer. Make the text not interfere with the cursor pointer of the keys. Okay, that's better. All right. You want to try playing a song? Hooray, we did it. Any other changes we should make? It's hard. It's hard. I can't tell which notes to play to play happy birthday. What kind of letters are you used to? Mm -hmm. is, is it, are the labels wrong? Just like numbers like 1, 1D one or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's change the... to show the numbers. 1 for C, 2 for D, etc. And then for the black keys, use uh, 2B to represent the 2 flat. I think that's the sort of labels that you're used to. Nice. Is that more like what you are used to? Yeah. Now you want to try? That's awesome. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm pretty happy with this, how it turned out. Anything else we should change? Nope. No? That's good. All right.